I'm going to give up full control of my computer to artificial intelligence. Let's see what happens. Okay, so it's opening Google Chrome. There it is. Now I'm not doing anything. My hands are off the mouse and keyboard. Okay, so it's moving the mouse. It went to the address bar. Let's see if it's going to type anything in. It is a little slow. There it goes. YouTube, Matthew Berman's channel. Okay, there it is. It took another picture. Okay, what's next? What's next? I feel completely scared that it's gonna show something that I don't want it to. So this new project is called Self-Operating Computer and it is exactly like it sounds and what you saw in the demo. It uses GPT-4 Vision to read what's on your screen and navigate your computer with a simple prompt. And it does so with the same inputs and outputs as a human user. So it looks at your screen, it can do mouse clicks, it can do keyboard strokes, and I'm gonna show you how to do it. Let's go. So this is self-operating computer. It is by Other Side AI. And it is a brand new project that's already passed a thousand stars on GitHub. So the first thing we're gonna do is download the repository. So git clone and then the repo and I'll drop the repo link in the description below. So let's download it. Then we CD into the folder. CD self-operating computer. Now let's spin up a new Conda environment. So I'm gonna call it SOC. So we do Conda create dash and SOC Python Python equals 3.11. And then we're gonna confirm. Next, we're gonna activate the environment. So we grab this code right here, conda activate SOC. We're gonna paste it in and then we're gonna hit enter. Next, we're gonna find the right Python version. So let's do which Python. We're gonna grab this version of Python right there, hit copy and then paste. Then we're gonna do dash M pip install dash R requirements.txt. And this is just gonna ensure that we're using the right Python version to install the requirements. Then we're gonna install everything else. So we take that same Python environment dash m pip install dot hit enter and there we go installed self operating computer 1.00 next we're going to rename the dot example dot env to just dot env and that's where we're going to put our environment variables so mv dot example dot env space dot m there we go okay now we're going to set our open ai api key by doing export and then open ai api key and then setting our api key like so and i'm going to revoke this key before publishing the video now it says that the terminal should have asked me for a couple permissions but it did didn't, so I'm just gonna open up my settings and add it manually. So I'm in privacy and security. Then I click on screen recording and I click this little add button right here. I'm gonna enter my password. I'm gonna find iTerm right here and then I'm gonna click open. And I need to restart it, but I'm gonna do that later. Then I'm also gonna allow it to have accessibility access. So. I go back to privacy and security, I find accessibility, and then I click the little plus button, find iTerm again, and hit open. And that should be it. Now let me restart my terminal. Now, of course, this is a little bit dangerous, but I find that fun. So I'll test it out for you, and you can decide whether you wanna test it as well. So now I'm back in iTerm, I'm back in the folder, and now I have to activate the environment again. So conda activate SOC, and then let's type operate. And there it is. Ask a computer to do anything. So here it is. Hello, I can help you with anything. What would you like done? User, open sublime text. So I just heard it take a picture of the screen. Let's see what happens. Can't tell if anything's happening actually. Oh, it is happening. Oh, look at that. Wow, so cool. So I actually saw it open up search in OSX and then it opened Wow, it's actually moving my mouse. This is so freaky. And so I'm gonna move it. I'm gonna close this and here it goes. So it's actually saying search, search complete, click. Oh, it's starting to move my mouse again. Oh my God, that is so freaky. Let's try something else. Okay, do a YouTube search for Matthew Berman's YouTube channel. Okay, so I heard it take a picture again. It's probably sending it off to GPT-4, figuring out what it needs to do step by step. Yeah, this is extremely dangerous. Okay, so it's opening Google Chrome. There it is. Now I'm not doing anything. My hands are off the mouse and keyboard. Okay, so it's moving the mouse. It went to the address bar. Let's see if it's gonna type anything in. It is a little slow. There it goes, YouTube, Matthew Berman's channel. Okay, there it is. It took another picture. Okay, what's next, what's next? I feel completely scared that it's gonna show something that I don't want it to. Okay, it clicked on my channel. And there it is. Oh my goodness, that is so creepy. Okay, so I'm gonna pause my autoplay video. It's still trying to do stuff. I can feel the mouse pulling away from me. 
And so I'm gonna end it right there. And there it is. Now you have AI that can control your computer completely. Soon, I don't think I'm gonna have to do anything. I'm just gonna be able to write a prompt in the morning and then it's gonna do all my work for me. I'm not sure how I feel about that. What do you think? If you liked this video, please consider giving a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.